Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson, one of the three security guards who was shot Wednesday morning during an attempted robbery in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, has died. The two others remain hospitalized. The guards came under attack by three gunmen after they drove up at a cambio on Main Street. Desmond McKenzie, a father in an international custody battle, now has to determine if he'll enforce a nine-month prison sentence for his son's grandmother, Daisy Raymond. The woman faces prison time after failing to convince a Jamaican judge that she did everything to have returned the child she took to the U.S. in 2018 to his mother, who is also her daughter. The government has ordered public hospitals not to turn away any patient suffering from the life-threatening disorder asthma, even if they have concerns over coronavirus. The order comes in the wake of the death of 17-year-old asthmatic Jalissa McGowan, whose mother alleges that medical personnel at the University Hospital of the West Indies offered no assistance as her daughter desperately gasped for air last Friday. The National Housing Trust, NHD, plans to invest $58 billion to facilitate commencement of 8,513 housing solutions and completion of 7,043 units by March 31 next year. In sports, the Tokyo Olympics organizing committee is reportedly considering a ban on foreign fans for this year's games because of COVID-19 fears. A formal announcement is due by March 25. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $151.10, the British pound sterling for $207.73, and the Canadian dollar for $122.47. In the other forecast, on Thursday morning, expect isolated showers mainly across northern parishes. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers mainly across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Joven Johnson.